Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure today to present to you this video poster under the title of Lang Metastasis of a Malignant Meningioma. Meningioma is a common intracranial neoplasm derived from meningothelial cells. This tumor is associated with a benign clinical course. However, malignant behavior such as metastatic disease has been also described. This extracranial metastasis represents only 0.1% of all meningiomas. Langs are the most common sites. To the best of our knowledge, only 20 cases of such association have been reported in literature. Here we are reporting the case of a 40-year-old female patient who presented for a rapidly progressive swelling of the right parietotemporal scalp. This swelling was painful, necrotic in some areas. Neurological exam was normal. Brain imaging revealed a partially necrotic extraaxial intracranial lesion with osteolysis of the right parietal bone extending to the ipsilateral temporal one with enhancement after gadolinium injection. The patient, uh, this is shown by the figure 1, 2, and 3. The patient underwent surgery. A Simpson grade 3 resection was achieved. The tumor was firm strongly vascularized, and blood controlling was difficult. The margins of resection weren't free of tumor infiltration. The patient had also craniopathy with pellicles. Histopathological examination concluded to an anaplastic meningioma with positive immunohistochemistry for EMA, S100, and ki 67 estimated to 30%. Postoperative course was marked by a rapid tumor recurrence 80 days after surgery, with reappearance of the swelling. Another brain imaging was performed, confirming the relapse. Due to current COVID pandemic, in a patient who presented cough, a thoracic scan was performed and disclosed multiple well-defined homogeneous nodules, sparing no lobes. The patient had a wedge resection of six nodules, and the pathological examination concluded to metastasis of a grade 3 malignant meningioma. After discussing this case in a multidisciplinary meeting, the recurrence of the intracranial lesion was not reoperated. Here are the images of the relapse in figure 5 and 6 and the CT scan of uh, thoracic scan showing the nodules. Meningioma represent over 20% of intracranial neoplasm. Despite their frequency, distance metastases are rare. Reportedly, the most frequent sites of meningioma metastases are lang in 40%, followed by abdomen, liver, and then bones. Only rarely are pulmonary metastases associated with local symptoms. Lang metastasis most often present as a single or multiple round calcified parenchymal nodules of varying sizes. Pleural effusion is also reported. The mean interval from detection of the primary tumor to detection of the first metastasis is reportedly six years. Here, in, uh, in our case, it was only three months. In most instances, the primary meningioma has shown histological features suggestive of malignancy. However, occasional tumors have been histologically benign. On review of literature, we found no clearly established factors associated with an increased risk of distant metastasis. This is likely a reflection of a small number of cases studied to date. Nonetheless, previous craniotomy, local recurrence, dural venous sinus invasion, Histological malignancy and papillary morphology may be predisposing factors. To conclude, pulmonary metastasis can occur, um, may occur in malignant meningioma. 21 cases have been reported over the past 20 years. As for rare tumors, multidisciplinary consensus is mandatory. In the absence of evidence-based recommendation based on prospective trials or observational studies, and I should be kept about the possibility of occurrence of such evolution through clinical and ideological follow-up. Thank you for your attention.